Hello there, my fellow viewers. Welcome to today's episode of Happensatch Computers, where I'll be showing you how to do a power supply swap on this HP Compact D530. Now, I think that this is a common fault because this was a requested video by a fellow viewer of mine, and in fact, the power supply in this one broke too. So, uh, these small form factor computers, manufacturers often try to make things easier, but it often ends up confusing people, so I'll be addressing that today. So, uh, first thing we gotta do is we obviously just gotta remove the cover. Just pull this back and then you just push. Off it goes. There have been several variants of this computer. Uh, this particular one has the power supply down here, not in the back. Now I'll my dog is just coming to my room. Hello. He's kind of mad at me right now because he's been locked in my room for an hour or so because my internet broke. And, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so now what you got to do is you just got to lift these three tabs right here. And then just pull the front panel off. Just put that down here for now. And always remember when you're messing around inside of a computer to wear your anti-static band. They're uh, really cheap, they only cost about three bucks. And they can save you a lot of money from personal experience. So, I just take your little contact here and just attach it to the chassis of the computer. There you go. Alright, so now we just gotta move this. So you just take this little green thing right here and you just pull it up. Now this is going to feel like it's going to break when you first pull it up, but it's not. It's just designed to do that. I don't know why it feels like that. So, now, uh, also if you're wondering, this is the same computer I did the uh, heat sink video on. So, if you guys want to check that out, you can do that after this. <laughs> so now you just got to get, you got to move this, which you just, there's a couple of levers and stuff you got to pull. I don't remember exactly which one, I just kind of pull all of them and take it out. So uh, you just fold that out of the way and then you just, it just comes out like that. Now uh, you just got to take your flathead screwdriver and there's a couple of screws back here they got to undo. So there's one over here in this corner and then there's another one over here in this corner, right over there. There's also a screw down here by the power supply that you gotta undo. Now I just gotta undo these. Alright. So we got those out. Now you just, this entire back thing right here just slides out. Oh yeah, and before you do that, you also want to take this lever down here, just pull it up, and then pull the motherboard out a little bit. So then there's like a gap right here, just to make things easier. So, you don't want to take out your motherboard, you just want to slide it up a little bit. So now, you just got to work this out. It actually does take quite a bit of force to pull out, but there you go. Now I don't have everything in here that I need to unplug, so it's just the things that look like this. These white ones. And then there's uh, there's one on the floppy drive you gotta unplug too, it's a little smaller. It looks like uh, this. And then there's one from the hard drive that's pretty much the same thing as that. And so after you, you unplug all that, you just gotta unplug the processor power. Which is right there, it's a simple... Uh, and you also want to slide your motherboard back forward so then it's secure. It doesn't come up as you're trying to unplug stuff. But now, you just gotta unplug the motherboard power. This one does also require a lot of strength to do. <laughs> Alright, so now, after you get everything unplugged, your power supply is already unscrewed because you took off this panel. And this screw right here, that was holding in the power supply. So now you just slide the power supply backwards out of the back of the computer. Just like that. And lift it up a little bit and then 
and just keep sliding it. And there you go. There's your power supply. It's a uh, compact. It's uh, 185 watt, so it's not making any serious power. But then again, this is just a small form factor computer. And uh, if you're trying to make this into like a gaming PC, <laughs> good luck with uh, this size of a power supply because these small form factor computers often come with very strangely shaped power supplies. Uh, but yeah, it's just 185 watt. Just go like on eBay or something and get another one of these. Uh, you can pause the video where I was uh, headed up toward the screen. So for installation, it's pretty much the same thing, but just, you know, reversed. So, and this black part has got to face out, and this fan has got to draw air in from the inside of the case. So, put it back in, get all your cords out of the way, put it in like that. It can be kind of tricky. There we go. So you just got to lay it in there with about this much of the power supply sticking out, so now you just press down on it and then you slide it forward. Now it's in. And once you plug everything back in, uh, like I said I don't have really anything attached to this computer because I don't really use it much. Uh, you got your floppy drive plugged in, your hard drive, your uh, CD drive, processor power and motherboard power, all that's plugged in. Uh, you just got to put the back plate back on, which this is also pretty tricky to uh, get in. There's these three tabs, and then there's three notches down here. And once again, you're going to want to slide your motherboard forward again. Then there's a gap right here, then another gap over here, then one over here. And then you're going to want to get these three tabs in there. They just sort of slide on top of here, like that. They don't really go into the case, they just slide on top of it. There's two other tabs up here that you got to line up to go into there. Just like that. And you're going to want to screw everything back in. So now all that's back in, uh, I just gotta slide this PCI uh, bridge back in. It plugs into the third slot on the motherboard, and this has gotta slide down in there. Now these tabs that are sticking out right here, these just slide in in front of here and here and here. Flip in like that, it plugs in to the third port on your motherboard. Then you're going to want to slide your motherboard back up after you position that. Then you're going to want to make sure that it's lined up in the slot. Then you just give it a good push till all that is lined up up there. So once you do that, you just get everything out of the way. You close this. And of course there's not really a locking mechanism, so doesn't exactly shut very well if there's stuff in the way. There we go. Disconnect your anti-static band and uh, get the front cover. Then you just put the front cover back on. Which isn't exactly an easy task because these aren't exactly the best made computers, but kind of got to like that. And you're good to go. Then you would uh, fire it up and I'm sure it would work but this one doesn't because I didn't actually order a, uh, a good power supply so I'm for sure not going to power this one on. Because uh, last time I did there was a bunch of blue sparks in there. It was only about a foot away from me so I <laughs> probably could have died if I didn't see that. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, have an awesome day.